name is Michelle Richards, Executive Director for SEED, and I'm very happy to have you here tonight. I'm very proud to introduce to you the program and resources that SEED has to offer you. The Center for Empowerment and Economic Development, better known as SEED, was created in 1984 to ensure that women and minorities had a place at the table in terms of economic development. SEED decided to focus on small business development and growth. A handful of community representatives with a modest grant and a small vision started the organization. We could not realize the impact that SEED would have on our communities in the future. SEED started a microloan program, which was not an easy task, since we were one of the first microloan programs in the country. There were no footprints to follow. We had to blaze our own trail. It was a decade before we met any other microloan programs. This was a long time before the development of the internet. So information and awareness was not at our fingertips. SEED shared its experiences and lessons learned while we mentored other emerging microloan organizations around Michigan and the country. No one realized how microloans would impact our country's economic strategy and shape the U.S. foreign aid assistance to developing countries. Microloans assist those who are normally left out of business development to grow small businesses and prosper. U.S. foreign aid assistance refocused its efforts from solely feeding families in developing countries to supporting them in developing businesses that would feed their families forever. The microloan industry has changed this world forever. President Clinton spoke at a SEED event in October 2006. This was the first and only time a president of the United States visited a microloan program or Women's Business Center in the U.S. As executive director, I had the opportunity to discuss the importance that microloans play in the U.S. and commend the president's creation of the microloan program through the U.S. Small Business Administration. SEED has witnessed firsthand the value of this program. Microloans are provided to microenterprise businesses, which by definition, our businesses with five or less employees. 87% of all businesses in Michigan are micro enterprises. SEED has provided over $4.1 million in micro loans since its inception. These loans have created 1,700 jobs. In the last nine months alone, we have made over a half a million dollars in microloans to support small businesses during this difficult economic time. In addition to our financing, we offer counseling and training to those business owners. These services are provided by staff members who are all former business owners because they have been in the trenches and can relate to the struggles of small business owners. Thank you to our devoted partners and sponsors of the SEED Microloan Program and Small Business Detroit Microloan Program. They are the U.S. Small Business Administration Microloan and Prime Programs, City of Detroit Office of Neighborhood Commercial Revitalization, Detroit Economic Growth Corporation, Bank of America, Charter One Bank, Comerica Bank, Chase, Corporation for National Service Vista Program, Oakland County, and Washtenaw County. SEED has developed curriculum and workbooks to assist entrepreneurs with business development and growth training. SEED business planning tools and financial tools, understanding the numbers, are taught by SEED at Henry Ford Community College. The college provides participants with continuing education credits. SEED has published these practical workbooks to assist entrepreneurs to turn their dreams into reality. Today, one out of every 11 women in this country is an entrepreneur. Our classes have trained thousands of area residents, most of whom are women, in business training. Thank you to Henry Ford Community College and Chase 
for being our partners and sponsors of the business planning and development classes. SEAT business courses are also taught at vocational and other women business centers. SEED continues to value its responsibility to serve as a role model and mentor to other organizations. In 2009, to address a difficult economy, SEED developed a one-day mini MBA program to help teach women business owners how to navigate through tough economic waters. In partnership with Davenport University business faculty, the Leadership Institute for Women was launched. In the past year, the Leadership Institute has trained more than 200 women business owners. Thank you to the U.S. Small Business Administration's Office of Women Business Ownership, Comerica Bank, and Davenport University for their support of the Leadership Institute for Women. Seed's stellar reputation as a leading women business center in this country resulted in an invitation to join the newly formed Women's Business Enterprise National Council, more commonly known as WeBank, as one of the certifying partner organizations. SEED's Women's Business Enterprise Council Great Lakes is now one of the 14 certifying council partners of WeBank. WeBank is a leading third-party certifier of women business enterprises in the United States. It is our goal to be vital to women business owners, to open doors to procurement opportunities in corporate America, and to train women business owners to be the leaders in this nation's economy. I have served on the WeBank Board of Directors since its inception 12 years ago. I have witnessed and been part of shaping the opportunity that women have in coming to the corporate procurement table. Today, American women own one-third of all businesses and employ almost 20% of all U.S. workers, and yet receive less than 4% of government and corporate procurement opportunities. Can you imagine what the world would look like if we received our fair share? Our work stands in front of us to create equal access to procurement opportunities for women. SEED will celebrate with WeBank and its partners the achievement of certifying 10,000 women business enterprises across the nation. It is an economic movement in the making. Certification, though, is only the first step in creating opportunities for women business owners. Women's Business Enterprise Council Great Lakes has recruited more than 50 corporate members in Michigan and Indiana to serve as partners in creating contracting opportunities for women. These 50 leading corporations recognize that it is good business to do business with women. Women make 80% of the consumer decisions in this country and influence the other 20. American women are the second largest consumer purchasing group in the world, next to the country of Japan. These corporations recognize that they must buy from women if they are going to sell to women. To promote this goal, we have developed regional matchmaker events, which we call corporate connections. They look like speed dating events for businesses. And as he predicted, we are able to track millions of dollars of business as a result of each of the matchmaker events. Each year we hold the largest women's business conference in the state. The Women's Business Enterprise Council of Great Lakes brings together women business owners, corporate and government purchasing representatives to learn, meet, and develop mutually prosperous relationships. In conjunction with the conference, Women's Business Enterprise Council Great Lakes holds the annual awards luncheon to recognize its outstanding volunteers and corporate and government entities and supplier diversity and purchasing representatives who have excelled and championed women business owners. Even with the unprecedented economic challenges faced in our region, over 750 women business enterprises in the Great Lakes Council have on average $7.5 million in annual revenue and 40 employees. One third of these businesses are in the professional industries, 16% are in manufacturing, and 14% 
are in distribution and transportation. Even in this uncertain economic time, Women's Business Enterprise Council Great Lakes has experienced a 3% rate of growth in certification applications. After six months of research, it was determined that women business organizations in Michigan only served about 5% of Michigan's 263,000 women business owners. To address the other 95%, the Michigan Women's Marketplace was born. With the assistance of Cheryl Gracie, business professor, and a marketing class at Washtenaw Community College, a business plan was developed for the Michigan Women's Marketplace website. A voice for Michigan women business owners has emerged. The plan was to develop a premier online women's business community that is responsible to the needs of its constituents. The Michigan Women's Marketplace at miwomen.com has three main components. These include an online directory of more than 6,000 women business owners, a calendar of events for all of the Michigan women business organizations, and a training center offering topical webinar trainings and expert articles. All of these services, each one valuable on its own and all provided free of charge. Seed recognized early on that in order for the Michigan Women's Marketplace to be successful, we needed to invite all the women's business organizations in Michigan to be partners and stakeholders in the site. Today we are proud to have 65 partner and affiliate organizations for the Michigan Women's Marketplace. They stretch from all corners of the state. The directory has more than 6,000 women business owner listings. The site receives more than 1 million hits a year and almost 100,000 unique visitors. Now let's remember this is only phase one of the website. Can you imagine what we will create in the future? Thank you to our sponsors. The U.S. Small Business Administration's Office of Women's Business Ownership, Comerica Bank, General Motors Company, and a special recognition to our web designer and host, Vivid Imaging Studio. Seed will continue to serve women and minority entrepreneurs, and there is still so much work to be done to fulfill our mission in the future. Our statement of mission is the following. The Center for Empowerment and Economic Development is committed to empowering women and minorities economically through business development training, vendor certification, business to business networking, and accessible capital assistance programs. We provide effective business tools and remove barriers that hinder development of successful and sustainable businesses. Our work strengthens the community by building partnerships and leveraging resources that increase business growth opportunities. We look forward to continuing prosperous relationships with our members and sponsors. And remember, the world changes when we aim for possibilities and not for probabilities.